In this figure, PA and PB are tangents to the circle with center O, such that angle APB is equal to 50 degrees. What is the value of angle OAB? First method. To solve this problem, first let's draw a straight line from O to B. Since PA and PB are tangents and OA and OB are radii of the circle, it follows that angle OAP is equal to 90 degrees and angle OBP is equal to 90 degrees. Reason. From the circle theorem of tangent and radius, which states that any tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact. Next, let's consider quadrilateral AOBP. In quadrilateral AOBP, angle AOB is equal to 360 degrees minus 50 degrees plus 90 degrees plus 90 degrees. Reason. The sum of angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. 50 degrees plus 90 degrees plus 90 degrees is 230 degrees. And 360 degrees minus 230 degrees is equal to 130 degrees. So, angle AOB is equal to 130 degrees. Next, let's consider triangle AOB. In triangle AOB, OA and OB are radii of the circle. This shows that triangle AOB is an isosceles triangle. And it follows that angle OAB is equal to angle OBA reason. Base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. Going further, we can say that angle OAB plus angle OBA plus 130 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Reason. The sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Since angle OAB is equal to angle OBA, we can say that 2 of angle OAB plus 130 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Going further, 2 of angle OAB will be 180 degrees minus 130 degrees. 180 degrees minus 130 degrees is equal to 50 degrees. So, 2 of angle OAB is equal to 50 degrees. If we divide both sides by 2, angle OAB will be 25 degrees. Second method Since PA and PB are tangents from a point to the circle, it follows that PA is equal to PB. Reason. From the circle theorem of tangents from a point to the circle, which states that two tangents drawn from a point to a circle are equal. Since PA is equal to PB, then triangle PAB is an isosceles triangle. And it follows that angle PAB is equal to angle PBA. reason. Base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. In triangle PAB, angle PAB plus angle PBA plus 50 is equal to 180 degrees. Since angle PAB and angle PBA are equal, we can say that 2 of angle PAB plus 50 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. 
going further. 2 of angle PAB will be equal to 180 degrees, minus 50 degrees. 180 degrees, minus 50 degrees, is 130 degrees. So, 2 of angle PAB is equal to 130 degrees. If we divide both sides by 2, angle PAB will be equal to 65 degrees. Since angle PAB is equal to angle PBA, angle PBA is also 65 degrees. Now, to find angle OAB, let's consider angle PAO. Angle PAO is equal to 90 degrees. Reason. From the circle theorem of tangent and radius, which states that any tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact. That is 90 degrees. But angle OAB plus angle PAB is equal to angle PAO. Angle PAO is 90 degrees and angle PAB is 65 degrees. So, angle OAB plus 65 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. Going further. Angle OAB will be equal to 90 degrees minus 65 degrees, which is equal to 25 degrees. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.